Dear students, uh, welcome to the video Volumes of Revolutions. Dear yes, students, finally the last part of chapter 9, which is uh, Volumes of Revolution. Now, uh, it says consider the area bounded by the curve y is equal to x squared. It is the curve y is equal to x squared, x axis, and the lines x is equal to 2, x is equal to 2 is the vertical line here. This part is drawn and y is x is equal to 5, this part. As you see, when this area is rotated about the x-axis to uh, 360 degree, a solid of revolution is formed. Do you see when this curve is rotated about x-axis, you know something like a, I don't know, funnel or a horn-shaped uh, solid will be formed, which is here. Now, as it is a solid, it has a volume. Now the question is that how to find the volume. So our aim is to learn how to find the volume of a curve obtained when a curve rotated about x-axis 360 degree and it forms such a solid. Now, now when you have, after revolution of 360 degree about x-axis, for example, a graph of x is, uh, y is equal to x squared, you will have such a solid. As you see, it's, I don't know, like a horn or funnel. Now, the formula of volume of this solid is integration of a to b, a is lower bound, for example, in this case, was 2, and upper bound was 5. A to B, pi, you can, as pi is a constant number, you can put pi out. There's, that doesn't make any difference. Y squared D of X. What is Y? Y is equation of the function. For example, Y is X squared. As it is D of X, it means that you are integrating with respect to X. So Y must be expressed in terms of X. Here, instead of Y, if you put X squared, so it will be X squared in brackets, then to the power of 2 will be X to the power of 4 then. Now. Uh, look at this example. It is uh, saying that find the volume of uh, obtained when the shaded region here is uh, rotated through 360 degree about the x-axis. So lower bound is one, upper bound is two, and the graph is given. So what was the volume pi? Do you see pi is put out because it's a constant. You can bring it out. Integration of one to two y squared d of x. What is y? Instead of y, you can put nine over three x plus two. Now it has a power 2, put a power 2 out, d of x. Then 9 to the power of 2 is 81, you can bring 81 out. Then 3x plus 2 to the power of 2. Then when it is in denominator, it bring, uh, I bring it to the numerator, it will be negative 2. Then you know how to integrate it. It will be 3x plus 2 to the power of minus 2 plus 1 over minus 2 plus 1. And 1 over, 1 over a, which is 1 over 3, becomes a coefficient outside. Then you put upper bound, lower bound. And subtract them it will give you such a number now the other uh, point is that when the curve is rotated about y-axis then how can we find that uh, solid volume the volume we obtained when the function y is equal to f of y here see x is equal to f of y here x is expressed in terms of y it is opposite to the previous one the previous one y was expressed in terms of x, now x is expressed in terms of y. is rotated uh, through 360 degree about the y-axis between the boundary values y is equal to a, y is equal to b, given by the formula. Now, it is the same pi, you can bring it out. So, upper bound and lower bound are given. Here, it will be x squared d of y. In the previous was y squared d of x here x squared d of y why d of y because it is about x axis y has upper bound lower bound you are integrating with respect to y that's why it is x squared d of y now look at this example find the volume obtained when the shaded region is rotated through 360 degree about the y axis now this is it makes you know you know something like that when it is uh, revolved about y-axis. So what was the formula? Volume is equal to pi is equal to integration of 2 to 5 x squared d of y. Now, as it is d of y, so you need to write upper bound and lower bound for y, which is 2 and 5. Then, 
x squared must be expressed in terms of y because it is d of y this integration doesn't recognize x don't integrate it is wrong you can integrate x squared when it is d of x it is d of y so it means integrating with respect to y so your integration doesn't recognize x x squared must be expressed in terms of y so we know that x squared is equal to y so instead of x squared we put y now we put uh, in the instead of uh, x squared y then integration of y will be y over y to the power of 2 over 2 so it is integration upper bound lower bound then subtract them now uh, now let's see another example here it says uh, the find the volume of the solid obtained when the shaded region is rotated through 360 degree about x axis see here as uh, this is this shaded region is rotated about x axis so the formula was pi lower bound upper bound which is 0 and 2 y squared d of x it gives you so just y squared d of x it is d of x so y must be expressed in terms of x so if you make y squared subject here y squared would be 9 minus 2x squared so here minus see if if you rotate this line because it should be subtracted because this white region is not included in the shaded region so this solid this line when it is rotated when a straight horizontal line is rotated it makes a cylinder you see here what is the height of cylinder 2? What is the radius of cylinder? Do you see it is y coordinate of this point which is 1. So you subtract area of, sorry, volume of the cylinder which is pi squared h. Then it will give you 32 pi over 3. Now, these are the questions concerning the topic you learned. Do them and it is the last topic of your pure mathematics. I hope you all find these videos helpful. Thanks for watching these videos and have a nice time.